When you create a query, there are several ways to add fields to the design grid. Go to the Create ribbon and click on Query Design. Double click on Sales Reps to add it to the grid and then close the Show Table window. Hold your cursor over the bottom edge of the table until you get a double-headed arrow and pull down so that you can see more fields. I can add fields to my query in several different ways. The first is to double click on the field and it will appear in the next available column. I'll double click on last name and it appears below. You can also click in the field name in the grid and use the drop down to choose your next field. I'll choose address. A third way is to click on the field in the field list and drag it down into the grid. You can aim for the next available empty column, but this method also allows you to add columns you forgot. I can drag first name and drop it on top of address. Address will move to the right and make room for the new column. If you do need to reorder your columns, you can always click on the thin gray bar at the top of the column, let go of your mouse button, then click on it again and drag it where you need it to go. Look for the black line to know where you're dropping the field. I'll show you again. Now, for our last way of adding fields to a query, first, delete all of these columns. I'll click on the thin gray bar above last name when I have that black down arrow, and I'll hold my mouse button down and drag across to address, and then I'll hit delete on my keyboard. Now, go back up to the sales reps field list, and this time, double click on the asterisk. Now, the first table in the grid simply says sales reps dot asterisk, but when I go up to the ribbon and I run the query, all the fields in the table display. Interchanging all of these methods as needed will give you speed as you build your queries.